Next thing you want to do is you want to move the constant to the other side of the equation just to get it out of the way. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have uh, equals negative 10. And then over here we're left with 1 third x squared minus 6x. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to factor out that leading coefficient. In this case it's 1 third. So we're going to factor out the 1 third. This is going to be x squared. And this is going to be uh, 18x or negative 18x. And you're probably wondering, well, if I'm factoring out the 1 third, why is this number getting larger? Well, you have to realize that when you're factoring out 1 third, it's like uh, dividing by 3. And so you want to counterbalance that by multiplying by 3. The nice thing is, though, you can check your answer. If you just distribute the 1 third into the parentheses here, 1 third times negative 18x gives you back the negative 6x. So you know you haven't changed the problem. You've just changed the way that you know that it looks. So the next step here is you want to complete the square. And so what you would do is you would take half of this middle coefficient here, okay, so 1, 2, 3, half of the middle coefficient and square it. So half of negative 18 is negative 9, and negative 9 squared is 81. Now, because this is in parentheses, this is really 1 third times 81. So out of thin air, we're adding 1 third times 81, which is 27, to the left side of the equation. So to counterbalance that, we want to add 27 to the right side. Okay, so are you with me so far? So then the next step is what you want to do is you want to factor this trinomial. Now, because you're doing this technique of completing the square, this is going to be a perfect square trinomial. It's going to be x, and it's always going to be half of this middle coefficient. So it's x minus 9, the quantity squared. Okay, so remember this is x minus 9 times x minus 9, and you can FOIL that out and you'll get this original quantity back if you want to double check. So then over here, if we add those together, we get 17. Okay, so now we've completed the square. We want to solve for x. We want to think about working from the outside in towards x, okay, by doing the opposite operation. So the opposite of multiplying by 1 third would be to multiply by the reciprocal, 3 over 1. So let's do that to both sides. So now we're left with x minus 9 squared equals 51, okay, and we're still working from the outside in towards the x. So the opposite of squaring is to take the square root of both sides. Now remember when you do that, you get two answers, plus or minus, okay? The square and the square root here are canceling one another out. And then what you want to do is you want to add 9, because that's the opposite of subtracting 9. But when you do that, uh, you want to do that in front of the plus or minus sign here on the right side. You don't want to say this is plus or minus square root of 51 plus 9. It's actually 9 plus or minus the square root of 51.